many have called for a playoff system in Division 1A college football, but they haven't made an impact. In Division 1AA, there's already a playoff format in place. And today, we bring you the national championship game as the Grizzlies of Montana face the thundering herd of Marshall University. Look into the two schools, Montana led by record-setting senior quarterback Dave Dickinson. While Marshall comes into the title game with true freshman quarterback Chad Pennington at the controls. Don Reed in his 10th year at Montana. It's the fifth time he has taken the, the, the playoffs. Well, every time he makes a carry, it's a record now. Third three. Good penetration in the backfield. Free ball again. He was the big playmaker against Stephen F. Austin. And Jerome Sauer is a defensive coordinator. Certainly is appreciative of that. Crebo is the guy. Who, he's their LT. They're going to call it officially a 47-yard attempt. It would be the longest of the year for Andy Larson. He's got plenty into it. And it's good. Wow. Just inside the upright, Angel. Back, Eric Thomas belted. And is a flag going to come out late? Yes. Blaine McElmurray. Stan, you knocked me down, but it's a game. McElmurray makes the big hit here, but maybe if he'd have come up a little bit just and, and taken a chance to stick his arm in and bat it down, there you can see. Openlander in now to try to tie things up. The junior from Tampa, Florida. Gonna be a 39 yard attempt, well within his range. Does he pull it? No. Just inside the left upright. And in my estimation, is the front four. They have been the difference of the game for Marshall University. They keep they put on Dickinson. Here's the screen you were asking for. Douglas is the man. There he goes. And big yardage inside the 25 for Douglas. Larry Moore catching up with him. Second and nine. Dickinson going for Wells. Touchdown, Grizzlies. Big guy, you're gonna see him right here. Go to the corner, cuts to the inside, and one right there underneath. The, oh boy, turned his feet. That's what happened right there. Scott Smythe, who is normally a safety, has him in man coverage, and that was a mismatch. Dickinson found it. Second and ten from the 47. Almost got to Pennington. And it's picked up. Nice tackle with the interception. And another chance for Dickinson. Is coming on another 15 yard penalty. That was Kentucky. Wiggins runs downfield, has kind of a short corner route, deep, deep route. Coming off in that case, as you mentioned, was Temple. Now as he cuts up, now as he cuts up field out of bounds, just out of bounds. Oh, he wasn't even on the white part of the out of bounds. Now Larson, a 37 yard attempt. Thank you. Comes out of the hole for the wide receiver, Larry Tomanelli. Rolling up the locker room with a 10-point lead. No, he pulled it. Inside of 10 minutes left in the third. First and goal. Parker. Good move. He's in. Touchdown, Marshall. Close. That was only three, four yards ahead of him. Even after he was held, Dallas Neal again. He's had his problems. Gets on a much better one. It's over the head of Martin. Will it die inside the five? Yes. What a great kick. Dallas Neal needed it after. And out of his own end zone. Here comes the heat. Barely gets it away, and a flag is going to come in for grounding. That's going to be a safety. That's going to be a safety, Joel. He did it in the end zone. We got intentional grounding. Penalty enforced from the end zone. We've got a safety. Earlier, this time it's just way too obvious. You mentioned the pressure right in his face. Take a look here. He double clutch. Oh, I'm going to get sacked. Okay, I'm just getting rid of it. Nobody is even close to that. We haven't seen a split backfield all that often. And Thomas is going to get it. And Thomas loses it, and Montana comes up with it. The Grizzlies get the ball. Man, remember earlier had the taunting 15 yards, dropped what looked could have been a sure touchdown. Krebo, the man who has been making plays for him all year, strips the ball from Thomas. Now Montana set up in great situation. Thomas, it's just been a really long day for this young man. You got to feel badly for him. Now Brandon, the only one in the backfield. They spread the defense with three wideouts. Dickinson keeps it. Touchdown. His wide receiver, Matt Wells. 
Mitchell. Plenty of time. It is Parker on the delay. Finds it to the outside. He's on his way. Breaking tackles. Touchdown, Marshall. Fourth and three. 314 left. The blitz, they pick it up on the cross. It's Earhart. The first down and then some inside the 30. Now just as we were talking about being critical, that's a big play on the part of Earhart. But what? Nobody in the backfield. Five wide receivers. Second and 15. All day, and now they will run the ball. Dickinson inside the 10. Right here, this is where Dickinson should come to the sideline and say, where do you want the football? He's got to know right now, where do you want the football? This will give him an opportunity to go over and say, because remember, they went from the left hash and he hooked it. This time, they might want to have it right down the middle. In the field goal, don't forget, the kickoffs from Montana have been absolutely atrocious. Now the tallest defensive lineman, who has not been in for the last quarter and a half because of an ankle injury, Billy Lyon, comes on the field for this play. It's a 25-yard attempt. They give Montana the lead. And Andy Larson does exactly that. A 63-yard attempt. Tim Oppenlander has hit a 51-yarder this year. Well, they laughed when Dempsey tried it. Gets oh, no. into it. Won't be close. And Montana can celebrate their first national championship.